this is John Bollinger swimming in reverb this morning looking at the new Sound City SC30 combo. Very cool amp. I'll tell you all about it after I tell you about how recording it. This is my 54 gold top. It's stock except for I have a Joe Glazer bridge. Other than that, it's all stock. I'm running a Klotz cable directly into the Sound City. I'm making it with a Royer R121 that's about a foot off. And that's uh, going into an Apache Quartet and into the Pro Tools. Later on, I'll play my old 66 Strat, so you can hear that, and a more modern um, Les Paul Standard, so you can hear humbuckers. So, uh, why don't I tell you about this, uh, what they're doing here. For us Americans, Sound City is kind of an exotic European vintage brand. Um, it actually predates high watt, but has a lot of that kind of high watt vibe to it. But it's also, it's also comparable to the Marshall and the whole um, orange thing. Anyway, they came out of music stores in the swing in 60s, uh, and it was, I think, kind of a more affordable lamp at the time, and later became very collectible, although I think at one point they were pretty, pretty plentiful, then became very, plen uh, very collectible. So it's been re-upped. Uh, Stephen Fry had designed this one, but it, it's based basically on the original 100 um, uh, that was designed by Dave Reeves. Let me tell you about the ingredients. The speaker is a special design 12 inch, 75 watt at eight ohm Sound City power speaker by Fane. The tubes, this is where it gets kind of cool. The, uh, there's a Genelex Gold Lion KT66 match pair. Those are the big boys. Um, it also accepts as 6L6s, but why change? Love that. Preamp tubes are the, the V1 is a 12 AX7, tongue sole. V2, V3 is 12AX7 Ruby Selected. V4 and 5 is 12AT7 Ruby Selected. The rectifier tube is an EH5AR4. Output impedance, there's options of 4, 8, or 16 ohms. And it comes in at a somewhat hefty 48 pounds, but not too bad. I mean, this is a, this is a kind of thing you could easily carry around with you to a club or play an arena with it. Great sounding amp. So I want to tell you about the top panel, which you can't see right now, but we'll, we'll cue to it, has a brilliant volume and a normal volume, uh, treble, mid, and bass, and reverb. So it's about as simple as you can get. Uh, what I like about right now coming in, I had just the normal volume up a little bit beyond halfway. Um, but it's great having those two options because you can kind of feather it, feather in one or the other what you want. Um, this is a bright-ish guitar, so I didn't have the bright up, so I'm just messing with the normal right now. Now, the normal, when you get it above, at about four, it's still pretty clean. give a little, we put it up above halfway, you really get some nice grit, particularly on that treble pickup. To me, that's just like the right amount of grit. And it's so great that just using your volume on your guitar you can, and pickup selector, you can get all these kind of different tones. So very expressive. But say you want to feather in this, uh, the brilliant channel as well. So let me turn down the normal, we'll bring up the brilliant. See, it's got a little bit more spank to it. Bring it up a little bit more. Pretty lush, right? Now, if we just dime that pig, my apologies to Perry. <laughs> Oh man, 
That is an awesome tone. Love that. Uh, now, you're probably hearing some of that lush reverb behind that. Um, this amp has a great reverb. The reverb is a three-spring Acoustertronic tube-driven verb, and it's really lush. Now, I've had it up there pretty hot, but it's, it's just such an addictive tone. I'll bring it down to kind of like a, oh, about... becomes more intense and when you bring your volume down reverb becomes more subtle Great. And then if we want to really get crazy, turn that thing all the way up. In fact, before I do that, let me put on a Strat so you can hear that other tone with it. Okay, so here we are in Stratland. This is just my old stock uh, 66. Put that verb up crazy high. On, man that is a sweet tone and what I like about this amp it's you kind of hear the guitar you know what you're playing there's some amps you plug into and every guitar sounds the same this one you really hear now let me jack with the uh, with the three band EQ right now I've got it flat but let's bring up these mids a little bit leave the rest where it is I'm gonna bring that verb bent down a bit so <laughs> Man, love that. That really cuts. Bring the mids back. Bring that bass all the way up. Love that. You know, just for shiz and giz, let's turn all three of these bands all the way up. Man, I love that tone. So right there, I've got the three band EQ dimed and the brilliant and the normal about halfway up. Now, let's just dime everything. This will get a little loud. Okay, punishingly loud, but a great tone. Okay, now we're in humbucker land. Thank <laughs> you. 
Great tone. Okay, and this is 30 watts, but it is a loud 30 watts. So those are the basic details on the Sound City SC30 combo. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're there, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz. Maybe have the hard copy sent to your house. This is John Bollinger. Till next time. <laughs>